what is foraging? I asked Google. And Google obediently went to Wikipedia. And the answer that Wikipedia had for me was, foraging is searching for wild food resources. It affects an animal's fitness because it plays an important role in an animal's ability to survive and reproduce. Foraging theory is a branch of behavioral ecology that studies the foraging behavior of animals in response to the environment where the animal lives. So it's all about animals. Wait a second. How about humans? So I asked Google again and it sent me to another site that points out that for 95% of their time on Earth, humans have sustained themselves by foraging, that is by hunting and gathering food from the natural environment. Oh goody, so for 95% of our existence we were foraging, and then convenience stores and Walmart appeared. So why is foraging still good for us in a modern society? This is what our British friends have to say about this. The rewilding movement aims to reconnect people with the landscape around us, understanding that we are not away from nature, but we are in fact part of nature. Foraging is a lost art that replicates our ancestors' lifestyles and brings you closer to your surroundings. Wild food grows around us on our doorstep, along roadsides, gardens, forests and fields. The knowledge that there is a wide range of wild food we can gather all over our local landscape makes us look at it in a completely different way, in which we become part of it and care about it. We foragers have a much deeper relationship with nature, seasons, rhythms, and places. We know where plants grow, when they can be picked, and how they can be used by us. We appreciate the culinary use and medicinal value of plants but also their role in the landscape. Foraging helps us to map the world around us with the idea that nature is not just a place to visit out there, but the ultimate resource we have to sustain our species. This is wild mustard. And uh, this is dead from last year. And this is fresh sprouts, wild mustard. It's almost like baby arugula. Mm. It's a little hairy, not very hot. Tastes like radishes. It's really good. While researching the topic of foraging, I came across a paper by Food Institute of UC Berkeley and I was really happy to read the paragraph on their soil testing in nutrition. It says that the team tested soils in the Richmond and Auckland full deserts for metals and tested tissue from plants growing in the most challenging soil. It was found that in these areas the level of metals in the plants is safe to eat after the plants are washed. Well, this is all good news and I'm posting here the references to these um, sources. And another source that I found very useful is Berkeley Open Source Food, where they have a list of all plants that are edible around here in the Bay Area, California that you can identify with their help.